Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Amana Range terminal block. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new terminal block. The terminal block is located on the back of the range and it's where the power cord hooks up. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's shorted out and the range isn't getting proper power. In order to change the part, we have to go to the back of the range. Now that we're at the back of the range, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to take out the screw that holds on the access cover. Once you have the screw out, you can lower the cover down a little bit and lift it off and set it aside. Now that we have the access cover off, we can see the terminal block. Remember when they short out, sometimes they take the connectors with them, so you might have to get a new power cord, or you might have to replace some of the ring terminals on the wiring harness. And also some of these nuts might be melted, so you might have to replace some of those. We're going to use a 3 inch socket with a ratchet to take off the nuts. Once you have the first nut off, you can take the power cord off and kind of get it out of the way. And then on the left terminal, there's three black wires. Once you have the second nut off, you can reach in and take all three of those wires off. Once you have them off, you can just push them out of the way. Then we can do the center wires. Same thing, we're going to use a 3 8 inch socket for all these. Once you have the nut off, we can just pull the wires off. Once you have the second nut off, we can take the white wires off. There's two in the center. Last, we can do the ones on the right. And then we can take the two red wires off. Once you have the wires off and out of the way, we can use our Phillips screwdriver and remove this green ground screw at the bottom. And then we can remove the two Phillips screws that hold it to the body. Once you have the last screw out, you can pull the terminal block off the range. Here's the old terminal block next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new terminal block in, we're going to put one of the screws in and then we're going to guide it into the hole. You want to make sure that you line up the cardboard. If yours fell down, make sure you lift it up. And make sure the screw goes through the hole to hold it in place. Before you tighten the first one down, we're going to start the second one. And once you have them both in there, we can tighten them both down. Now we can put the ground screw in. We're going to bend this bracket up a little bit so it lines up with the screw hole. Once you have the mounting hole lined up, you can use the Phillips screwdriver and put the screw in. Now we can go back around and put all the wires and the nuts on. We're going to start on the right hand side. Remember the two red wires were over here. Remember as you tighten these down, you want to make sure you tighten them down pretty good. If you leave any of the nuts loose, you may cause arcing, which may cause it to fail again. So make sure you tighten the terminal nuts down nice and tight. We're going to use a 3 8 inch nut driver with a hollow shaft to reach down and tighten this nut down. Because the socket wasn't able to reach it. If you have a deep well socket, you can use that. 
Now we can put on the power cord. All you have to do is slip it on, push it down, and then we can put the nut on. Now we can do the center pin, which was the double white. And then a nut. Then the power cord. And the second nut. And the last one on the right had the three black wires. And then a nut. And then the power cord. And the last nut. Once you have everything tightened down, we can put the access cover back on. All you have to do is put the tab in on the bottom and lift it up into place. And then we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screw in. Now that we have the access cover back on, we can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.